Hello, today I want to play 74. <laughs> Not much else to say, just get into the level. So I know there's like kind of two times where people go in with this map. People who don't really enjoy it and people who really like it. And I'm actually in the camp that really likes it. I expected it to not be that fun, but it just was fun. Wait, was this a kind of case where you can keep like infinite jumps? No, it's not actually. Okay, good. Yay! <laughs> Lots of corner kicks. Also, I'm planning on getting all berries for this as well. The berries were a lot of fun in this. Ooh, yes. Now I'm gonna get up. Yes! Seventh berry in Grandmaster. And alive, Ashiro! Hotel 74. Wait, what is we talk? Is it like WhatsApp because that was in green? And one of the maps that doesn't have custom music, but it doesn't matter that much because the song is a banger. A oh, like corner kick there again, and I think there was just nothing upward. Oh, I didn't realize you need to corner kick there as well. Then I just crouch jumped twice, calmly. What? How did that not corner kick? Maybe I timed it wrong, or maybe I was too far away from the spikes. Yee! Easy last part. <laughs> and now a hard room. Okay, that was a good attempt. I could neutral there a couple times and wait on the big ice block. And then I need to neutral corner kick on the right side of the last ice block there. And there, I think I'll use the instant neutral thing. Where I start from bottom and switch it up on the right stick. What? <laughs> nice corner jump. Oh, I... Actually, I, like, completely missed that I needed to break that first, somehow. <laughs> okay, now I know. So I jump left and then go back right without holding jump at all, I think. And then do the instant neutral trick and jumps to the end. Ooh, yes! Okay, I didn't die a single time after that. Okay, berry time. Last time I beat this berry in a way that I had to die after collecting the last seed. But I know there's many solutions and some of them you don't have to die. So I want to do one where you don't have to die afterwards this time. Like, I don't remember any of the solutions and not even what my own was on the first time. 
I think I remember seeing one where you didn't have to die, but that honestly seems impossible. Because to get the bottom left one, you have to jump in midair. And if you use the air jump there, then there's no way to get back. If you get to this point, you have no way of getting back. And like, you have to have spent that jump if you get the bottom left seed. I'm just doing whatever I can do to beat this. Yeah, I think what I'm going to go for might be the strat that I used on my first time. Okay, I got that quickly. Not too hard, but like that seems impossible without dying, but I still remember seeing something without dying. Wait, no, I think I remember the no death thing. You go like this. You use the reform tech. Yeah, I think that would probably work. Oh, I'm not entirely sure and I'm not gonna try to go for it anymore. <laughs> now that I already did it. Oh, there we go. And <laughs> I still died. That's good enough for me. Not as good as what's required for full clear silver, but that's good still. I did the main solution thing. Yay, this berry. You're supposed to like, time it to the music, but like I don't see how you're supposed to time it to the music. I'm going to turn the music off. Yeah, I can use my two jump buttons to make it easier. Easy. And I think it was somewhere in here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, music back. Yes. You are correct. It has fallen. time another cool berry it looks like it should be like very jank but it's actually a lot of fun ah. <laughs> almost got that extremely fast okay there easy that wasn't nearly as easy on the first time. Yeet. Finally. Oh yeah, this is cool part. I love this. This is like... All stuff that feels like it should be so jank, except it's not jank and it's just one position. Oh yeah, you were supposed to use the jump there.
Yay! Oh, the final room. I got here so fast. We can now do the pooper. Okay, I'm back after a while for the final room. Wow, that got far. Good attempt. Like, that was the first time I got the feather super. Also, I'm thinking that I will probably use mainly the second jump button while holding upright the entire time there. Like, on the right stick, hold upright, then use this button a lot for everything. Wait, I don't know why I didn't really piece together yet that I think this, like, fits pretty well into the normal canon Celeste story. It's like at the time where everyone else went on the farewell hike and Oshiro stayed behind. But what happened when Oshiro stayed behind, that story is different here. How is Madeline here? Or was it only like five years ago or something? Like five years before Madeline went to the mountain in vanilla. So maybe if Madeline was like 18 in the main game then... She's like 13. I don't know. That's like assuming it's like only five years ago when the hotel was closed. I don't remember if there's any date in the Celestial Resort. I kind of want to check actually. Like I want to check two spots. This is the first spot. No, there is no date here. Um, now to the elevator shaft checkpoint. I want to check Ashiro's diary. Or whatever it was. This. Decades old. Okay, it's been multiple decades. Yeah, so the story of 74 doesn't make sense. Madeline shouldn't be there. Unless it's just... A different person, not Madeline, but it just looks like Madeline because of time limitations with Strawberry Jam. I'm probably overthinking it anyway, and it's just a funny thing. Yeah, maybe it's like a normal person who doesn't have like special abilities with Dash. Okay, mystery solved. I got what I was looking for. Back to 74. No fooper. No, I think I'm jumping too late. I should, like, buffer the jump even, maybe. There we go. What? I did it already? What? Nice. Well, I fluked it. Last part's first try. That was a good strategy to use only the second jump button for the timings. Yes, Oshiro did so much work. <laughs> he probably did a lot canonically. <laughs> I think the timeline in the vanilla game, Celeste, is what would have happened if this person that we play as wasn't here now. And I don't remember if it was confirmed anywhere if this is Madeline or not, but I think it would make a lot of sense for it not to be. Wait, actually, I'm looking up the farewell ending cutscene. Yeah, at the end of farewell, there was the picture with Granny and also Theo's grandpa. And it could be that we are playing as Granny back when the hotel was still there. And this is like Granny went to help Shiro, but in the vanilla Celeste, Granny had no idea that stuff was happening over there and didn't go. That feels like it would make the most sense with the pieces that the vanilla game gives us. In the story. Yeah, that's kind of silly, but cool. 
Why is there glitchy stuff? There is nothing like up there, right? <laughs> okay, let's get it. That didn't take long, actually. Let's look at the journal. Yeah, Belly of the Beast took longer for me. Well, that was a throwable map, so it makes sense. And complex inputs are naturally harder when you only have one finger for all the moves. I still have Super Luminary to finish, but after that, the next map will probably be Shadow Song. I might actually change my mind on Summit and make a video on that as well, but I'm not sure. Okay, and I'll just include it in this video as well that I will make videos on all of the Cracked Red maps if I don't randomly lose motivation. Okay, for 74 video, bye bye!